The time has come. Here is the tournament shop, and I'm Denmark. I'm here to review the weapons from it. Also, you can find cosmetics, uh, golden skins, chests, uh, gems, and uh, avatars at the tournament shop. And uh, I really like the new unique avatars. But you are here for the weapons, right? Then let's start. Our review starts with the backup weapon. Uh, it's available at the 7th league and uh, in my opinion that is the most interesting weapon uh, from all the weapons are in the shop now. It's not the most uh, powerful but the most interesting. This weapon reminded me ninja shurikens from the gadgets, uh, probably the best gadget by the way in the throwing category. And uh, the gameplay with this weapon is unique. From the interesting mechanics it's of course shooting in 3 categories. Uh, you can see it. Uh, also, it has a very useful thing. It's when you're reloading, you're invisible. Uh, that's very useful. Of course, the best way to use this weapon is playing at the small maps uh, where the long range does not exist. And uh, yeah, that will be the best option for this weapon uh, because aiming with it is hard. Personally, I am happy with this weapon. Coming to the sniper rifle. And the, the sniper rifle is the strongest weapon from all the weapons you can buy in that shop. It's available when you reach the 6th league and if you are now at the 5th league, it makes sense to save up your tags if you have good primary weapon and haven't sniper one. As you maybe notice it, it has area damage, but I will tell you about it later. Uh, it has the slows the target effect, which is very useful because of the area damage. And the target mark, which is also useful, but not as useful as the slows the target and area damage. A couple words about the area damage. The damage in this area is not big, but the area of the damage is uh, really great for the sniper rifle. What about the features of this weapon, but here I can call this a disadvantage, it's the accuracy sometimes at the big range you can miss a shot. As I have already said, uh, this weapon is probably the best choice in the tournament shop. What about primary? Yes, this weapon has bullet travel, but give it a chance. It's really great and uh, personally this is the first, I think, weapon with the bullet travel which I really like, I mean in the primary category. The effects of this weapon is just insanely beautiful, I even decided to slow down some moments in this uh, gameplay because just wow. Playing with this weapon at the big and even medium range is a bad idea, but now developers made lots of uh, small maps where this weapon will be good. It's Blogger's Arena, it's Aztec Temple, Workshop, Lost World, Treasury, uh, Pixel Gun Office. Uh, and of course pool party. That means that in the game there are lots of maps where this weapon will be good and uh, where you will not feel uh, the bullet travel. Oh yes, and I forgot to say that it opens at the 5th league, that means that it will be not so hard to get it. And uh, whether to buy this or save up to the sniper rifle. I think that if you have good sniper rifle, it's there is no sense in uh, buying the sniper rifle from the tournaments. Yes, it's powerful, but uh, buying the good primary weapon, if you have not good primary weapon, is more necessary. What do we have in total? We have three new weapons, all of them are great, and if you have an ability to buy all of them, buy all of them. If you haven't, and you have an ability to buy one or two weapons, play more tournaments or uh, just uh, take a weapon that you like more. Thank you for watching guys, uh, write in the comments uh, what do you think about these weapons, what do you think uh, about the tournament shop, uh, what you will buy from it. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, goodbye.